the issue of your mom, huh? That one is the issue of your mom. It's true. It's becoming serious sometimes. It's, it's true. Huh? It's true. It's like she's on and off. Yes. Hmm? Yes. Come here. Let me pray for you. God will heal your mom today. I want to pray for you. Are you hear me? Yes. I want to pray for you. Go and tell your mom she's healed. Come on. Lift him up. Your mom is healed, huh? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Lift him up for the last time. My brother, I want to pray for you. Oh. Amen. Uh, my name is Dennis Maswangani. Uh, originally, I come from Guyana. Uh, the prophecy is true because my my mother, she's mental disturbance, and I'm all, and, and I'm the only person who always pray for my mother. Yeah, so today, uh, I'm happy because my 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 mother way wherever she is, she's free. Yeah. And how did it affect you the issue of your mom being on and off? Always, that's why I decide to follow Jesus Christ, because I saw when I grew up, she was started to be mental disturbance. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was 19, 1997. So I grew up not, not to, I'm up not very well. So from today, I'm happy because I believe wherever she is, she's free. Not. And they prayed for you. When they prayed for you, how did you feel? No, I'm feel, I'm feel light, and I'm happy. And I was praying even today that God deliver my mom wherever she is. Yeah. So I think. Thank you. God want to lift you. Huh? Amen. So that because you need to, we need to pray for this family, your family. Amen. Because the devil is trying to bring divisions. That's true. In the family. Yes. Are you hearing me? Amen. So from here, I'll pray for you. And I believe God wants to use you now. Amen. To be an example of these people. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because I'm just seeing divisions. That's true. Divisions. But I'm taken to a place. I'm seeing, I'm seeing something like Ravarish. Yes, I stay in extension to huh? every park is no, next wait. to Ravarish. I'm seeing Ravarish. Yes. I'm seeing Ivory on the right. That's where I stay. But I'm seeing you walking. Huh? Yes. 
I'm seeing walking, wearing a, something like a short. Yes. Huh? Yes. I'm seeing a lady here. You are wearing black clothes. It's like you're going to exercise or something. Yes. I and I'm seeing, I'll tell you, wait. I'm seeing you walking like this. You're going towards a stop sign. On your right, there's a primary school. Yes. Huh? There's a primary school. There's a primary school. Yes. I'm seeing something like an aerial, tall. It's like these things of network. That, yeah, yeah. It's green in color. Yeah, next, huh? to the, next to the school. Next to the school. Yes. And I'm seeing you with this lady. You're walking towards the stop sign. And uh, I want to pray for you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. God will give you a red wife. Thank you. <laughs> because for me, when I look at you, I love you so much. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because of the way you love God. Amen. For me, you're supposed to be living a very bad life. Amen. But you decided to take your life to Christ. And I'm telling you, God will make you an example of this people. Because I'm seeing, there's a brother also, there are problems. That's true. Huh? Amen. I'm seeing problems. There's a brother also, it's like a stepbrother. This, I'm just seeing many problems. So, but listen, you, God will make you an example. Amen. And you'll marry, and you'll marry right. Amen. When I'm praying for you, I'm hearing this. You must also believe in business. Yes. Are you hearing me? Amen. Did you try to do business? Yeah, I'm having business ideas, but I never actually implemented them. I'm telling you, you'll be a millionaire at the right time. Amen. In Jesus' name, you're free. My name is Karao Stephen. I'm from Ivory Park, Station 2. And the prophecy that I got is 100% accurate. Let's go to the issue of your family. The man of God said that you must pray for your family. What is really happening in your family? Well, in my family, there's many divisions. Like, there's this group, there's others who visit, like, um, others, and then they'll never come to you, so... Yeah, that's the division like they were talking about. Even in my family, my bro my stepbrother just moved out, and then I, also my my stepsister, sh she's not living with us. So like yeah. And also the man of God spoke about you going with a young lady or a lady. Confirm that is it true what he was saying? That's very true. Um, that used to be my 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 my, my female friend. Yeah, we are, go we are going to exercise at the stadium. Yeah. And he spoke about you focusing on business. Were you having a business or you thought about doing a business? I once had a business and then I've also had some rough ideas which I never get to implement. So that's 100% true. And how are you feeling today as the man of God has spoken unto your life and as I believe that he has given you direction that God today, he wants to make you an example of your family. How are you feeling? Well, um, I've always, I was always praying about it so I was, I was happy because I was starting to, 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 to somehow feel like things are, are moving slow for me. So right now I know Hore, um, God's time is the best. We give glory to Jesus for our life. We believe that as the man of God has spoken unto you, we shall surely come back with a testimony that will tell us that God has done it for you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. But as young as you are, when you sleep, there's a spirit that visits you. Are you hearing me? That is messing up your life. That's why now always you have like nightmares. Nightmares. Are you hearing me? Yes. So I'll pray for you because this spirit sometimes is trying to use you. So this demon today, I'll cast it out. It will leave you. Because sometimes yourself, you don't even understand your life. Huh? Yes. It's like you don't know whether you're going forward or backwards. Are you yeah. hearing me? Amen. It's, this spirit is the cause. Come on, you 
your spiritual husband. Come out. Lift up. My name is Elsie and I'm coming from Joburg and then the prophecy I received today is true. I'm always having nightmares and I also don't, don't understand what's happening in my life. There is no improvement, nothing. And how did they affect you? What did you try to do? Eventually some they'll say, I've went to the doctor. You know, when I personally, what did you try to do and how did it affect you? I have been trying to pray for myself. Like the prophet said that the spirit comes at night. Whenever I try to pray at night, I feel weak and very, very sleepy. So I can't wake up and pray. And how are you feeling that today he was accurate by telling you the things that are really happening in your life? Feeling very happy, I believe. Um, shall I yet to see a breakthrough in my life? Amen. My brother, you are married to something like Collins. You. That's my name. Let me pray for you. you? Do you know anyone called Phyllis? I don't know. Yeah? I'm seeing. I'm hearing Phyllis. Huh? It's my younger. It's my younger sister. Come. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Ancient of days, as old as you are. As old as you are, you will never change. I want to pray for you. And I want to pray for this lady. Phyllis. Yes. I believe me praying for you will be praying for her. Pray because for us. Because if your mom die. She'll be the one that will be broken worse. It's true because my mom, she's sick now. And she's trying by all means to buy she, medication she's for She's trying her. everything. Correct. Everything. That's why I'm telling you that if your mom die now, she's the one that will be broken the worse. It's true. But I want to pray for you. Let's cancel death today. Amen. Amen. My name is Donald Matebola. Yeah, the prophecy is true because our mother, she's sick. And Phyllis, my younger sister, she's trying by all means to buy medication in order to sustain my mother. Yes, the prophecy is true. How did it affect you? It affected me a lot because even last year, November, I had to bring her to Gauteng for, 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 medication, for her medicals. So I took her from, to several doctors Yes, which we, they said she has been diagnosed with breast cancer. Yes. And today, by the grace of God, 
your mother has been located through you. How are you feeling and what does that bring in your life when they declare that your mother is healed? I'm feeling very, very grateful after the prophecy and after the prayer because I be, I've, I'm 100% sure that my mother is healed. Yeah, I will phone her tomorrow to check her and uh, I also, I'm also going to phone Phyllis to, to inform her about this prophecy. I'm 100% sure she's healed. We give glory to Jesus for life. We believe that as your mother is healed, even your life has been restored in Jesus' name. I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. My brother, uh, let me not say anything. I'll pray for you. There's an issue that needs to be discussed with you. Are you hearing me? Amen. So I believe God will help you because this is the problem of the family. Yes. And today, you didn't waste your time by coming here. Amen. You came for everyone. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. I will pray for you. And this... Because you people... It's like when devil is tying up the ladies in the womb, it's also tying you people. So, but today, everyone will be released Amen. from this. And I will tell you something after church. Come on! Come on! My name is Colin Office Namindo. I came from Namibia. And uh, what the man of God has spoken is true. Um, what he spoke about uh, the womb. Actually, it's my mother. Uh, my mother has uh, a problem in the womb. And uh, it, it didn't start from there. It starts in the generation. Yeah, it, it came a long way in my mother's family. Yeah. I believe you also as a son, it has affected you and your mother always. She's complaining about one thing again and again and while you guys are praying for her how did it affect you it affected me because uh, whenever she she felt sick or she told me about it i it, it, it kind of challenged my faith and uh, it's wearing me down yeah and she's one of the reason why i'm here yeah, i came with the confirmations letters uh, from the doctor of the issue that's in our womb how are you feeling right now I feel relieved and uh, I believe as God has spoken, changes have also happened. You, you, yes. I want to pray for you. Because when I'm speaking with that man, I heard that I must also tell you that your womb is open today. It's your wife, huh? Come. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Come, bring her. Your people, I want to tell you something. There's a delay that devil has been bringing in your life. Are you hearing me? After we pray for you today, no more delay. Amen. Huh? Amen. And you, you're also healed, huh? Okay. Are you hearing me? Amen. You're also healed and... God will also lift you up in this issue of lawyer, lawyer, what, what. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. So from here, your life will end. Please, because of these enemies that I'm seeing, I want to tell you, I want to cancel all the plans of devil against your life. Amen. Because I saw a car, I saw a white car. Amen. Uh, I saw a VW car. Amen. For today, whoever that will plot an accident against you, Amen. that person must die for your sake. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. And, and after we pray for you, God will bless you. There's a baby that will come. Amen. And Mama, you don't need to worry. I know, and you, I know what has been happening before. So, so don't worry. And God will honor you today. Amen. Demo. Demo. Come 
out, you demon. What are you doing here? Huh? Huh? No, before God, there's no lawyer, there's no doctor, there's no. Ah. It's when we are before God. Yes. No, no lawyer. He's a lawyer, right? Huh? Yes. He's a lawyer. Ah. What, what are you doing here? Huh? Ah, you know. Huh? You know very well. I know. Yeah. Why are you blocking this man? I told you. Huh? I told you. Put the mic. Put the mic. is free. Uh, my name is um, Miss Mawai. The gentleman next to me is my husband. From Pretoria. Confirm the prophecy that you received today, whether it be true or not. The prophecy that I received today is 100% true. I'm um, searching for the fruit of the womb for a very long time and I've also received uh, several prophecies that my womb is blocked and then after today's prophecy I know that my breakthrough has come in Jesus name. We give glory to Jesus for life. We believe that your family has been restored and you are coming back with a testimony in Jesus name. Amen.